Financial Accounting Chapter 6 Introduction Knowing how to work with the numbers in a company financial statements is essential for Stock Investors The meaningful interpretation and analysis of balance sheets income statements and cash flow statements to discern a company investment qualities is the basis for smart investment choices. However, the diversity of financial reporting requires that we first become familiar with certain financial statement characteristics before focusing on individual corporate financials. In this article, L will show you what the financial statements have to offer and how to use them to your advantage. Financial statements shall include a balance sheet reflecting the financial standing as per the date of the financial statements, a profit and loss statement describing the formation of the operating result. A cash flow statement describes the acquisition and disposal of funds during the accounting period. A cash flow statement must be prepared only in public limited liability companies and private limited liability companies not regarded as so-called small accountable entities. Supplementary information on the balance sheet, profit and loss account, and financial statements, notes, Basic Financial Statements in Accounting A complete set of financial statements is used to give readers an overview of a business. Financial Results and Condition The financial statements are comprised of four basic reports, which are noted below. Income Statement The income statement presents the revenues, expenses, and profits losses generated during the reporting period. Balance Sheet the balance sheet presents the entity assets, liabilities, and equity as of the reporting date. Thus, the information presented is at a specific point in time. The report format is structured so that the total of all assets equals the total of all liabilities and equity, known as the accounting equation. Statement of cash flows. The statement of cash flows presents the cash inflows and outflows that occurred during the reporting period. This can provide a useful comparison to the income statement, especially when the amount of profit or loss reported does not reflect the cash flows experienced by the business. Statement of retained earnings. The statement of retained earnings presents changes in equity during the reporting period. The report format varies, but can include the sale or repurchase of shares, dividend payments, and changes caused by reported profits or losses. When the financial statements are issued internally, the management team usually only sees the income statement and balance sheet since these documents are relatively easy to prepare. Comprehensive income. Comprehensive income includes net income and unrealized income, such as unrealized gains or losses on hedged derivative financial instruments and foreign currency transaction gains or losses. It provides a holistic view of a company income, not fully captured on the income. Statement Cash Flow Statements The Statement of Cash Flows, or the Cash Flow Statement, is a financial statement that summarizes the amount of cash and cash equivalents entering and leaving a company. The Cash Flow Statement, CFS, measures how well a company manages its cash position meaning how well the company generates cash to pay its debt obligations and fund its operating expenses. The cash flow statement complements the balance sheet and income statement and has been a mandatory part of a company financial report since 1987. Other general disclosure requirements. While a company financial statements contain all of the company's significant financial data, that data is frequently in need of more explanation. That where the financial statement disclosures come in handy. To a company stakeholders, a financial statement disclosure will communicate relevant information not reflected in the statement itself. Generally accepted accounting principles may demand disclosures or management may choose to make them voluntarily.